be what you want to be and be strong in what you are doing. Nagaland gives out more than 15 to 17,000 passed out graduates and postgraduates from all over the state. We have literate people, but unfortunately we are not able to provide jobs. My dear young friends, brothers and sisters, the problem is because we have become a very dependent society on government jobs alone. We have to break that barrier. And as you grow in your schools with your academics, you have to grow holistically. No more we are living in the early 80s or 90s. We are li living in a time that is way advanced. Your literacy, you being a class 10 pass, class 12 pass, your graduate, your postgraduate, is just your certificate to open a certain door. But if you are not skilled, if you are not committed, then you will just end up being social media warrior or in the mudugor of some Kohima Gali or Dimapur. And you can break there that I'm a graduate and postgraduate. But if you are committed in the skill that you have with you, your teachers will help you find them. Your seniors, do not run away from your mentors. Do not run away from your teachers or from your parents. Today, the world is not narrowed down only to Nagaland. There is a saying, the whole world has become one. From here to reach Kifre, it takes 14 hours. From here to reach London, it takes only nine hours. We are accessible to the world. Girls, you want to be florists? You want to keep flowers? Make them into good flowers? Learn about them? And there's a good business opportunity for that. Some of you, makeup artists, nowadays guys are good in makeup artists. But some of you can be a great makeup artist. You can do well. You can promote yourself. And social media gives you good promotion. Some of you may be skilled artisans. You can paint well. You can design well. And if you are committed to what you are doing, you have dignity in what you are trying your best. Some of you are good singers and artists. Dedicate yourself to that. As you study, you imbibe knowledge, but at the same time, you prune your skills. Some of you can do things better than the rest teach others also what you know by yourself. If all of you are just studying for the sake of getting your degree, then I'm sorry. We are going to have a lot of incompetent passed out people. Our state is one of the highest literate state in this country. 80%. But our state has the highest unemployed literate people in this country.
Why? What do you mean by empowerment? Only government job is not the answer. Sometimes I wonder out of the revenue grant deficit that we get from the central government and the state share of central Texas all together the government of Nagaland is serving the government of Nagaland. Press and media be careful in writing that. Huh? I'm telling my young friends. Pensions, loan servicing, money is over in real term. More than 150,000 government servants. How do we run our state? I'm not giving you discouragement. I'm sorry I'm taking a little bit more time. Because I won't get the opportunity to tell them. Then, and because good schools and education is somehow in Nagaland, credit goes to the fathers and the Catholic institutions too. But the amount of output we are giving and the employability is not there. And we cannot blame only the undergrounds. I'm sorry to say that. We have to blame ourselves. I request the institutions and the teachers that we should make our young men and women who are passing out employable in their own way also. The problem about our people, consistency in NATO, Pigari Kulibu Hugina Gauri Ulu Palile, Birthday Ile Kap Kune Marigina Kaidibu. Christmas I little control in Kaidibu Padabat. One of the largest importers of pigs, according to population in this country, is Nagaland. But we have no commitment to rear them. We are happy to bring them from Punjab, Bihar, UP, Andhra, and some other states. There is employability in every avenue. Young entrepreneurs and if capital is the issue then you have to make sure from now how to have the strategy to plan that. Banks are there. I was telling the private banks vice president of HDFC who came your private banks are not giving mudra loan to the people. Only government banks are giving. Why? Certain policy issues are there. If you are committed, you will find the way. The skills of hospitality of another lady is really appreciated. Likewise, my dear young friends, in this um, Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, 75 years of India's independence, we should truly become independent. I consider it a great privilege to propose a vote of thanks to all the dignitaries who have made a convenient to attend the inaugural program of this photo exhibition on eight years of service, good governance, and welfare of poor, which means seva, Sushasan and Garib Kalyan, commemorating 75 years of India's independence. We are deeply grateful to the Honorable Minister for gracing this occasion as a special guest. His inspiring presence today in this function is immensely 
enhance its importance and I'm sure a great inspiration to all these young impressionable minds. I take this opportunity to express our sincere thanks to Sir Tavasila, who is a young and excellent administrator. Sir, your gracious presence and inspiring address will always motivate us and set a new examples of excellence in the public service. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank uh, Father Jason for his uh, cordial and insightful welcome remarks. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.